In my opinion, DaVinci Resolve has just dropped one of the best new features of all time for basically any content creator. And this is in the 18.1 release of DaVinci Resolve Studio. Mind you, this is the studio version that you will need. And it is called the Voice Isolator. Literally, all you need is one click and you can have near perfect studio quality audio with your videos as long as the audio was recorded in a fairly good environment or with a fairly good microphone to begin with. So let me go ahead and actually just show you what that is like. So um, I have DaVinci Resolve open and I have a wedding that I'm currently finishing up uh, over the next couple days. And I have a scene here where the couple did like a letter reading to each other and I just had a microphone on the bride. Uh, what you're going to do here is, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly uh, how to enable the voice isolation on your track to be able to give you near perfect audio. So I'm going to show you the beforehand. So I'm in Fairlight right now. You have pushed me to seek and pursue my relationship with God. He has been blessing me ever since with that. So you can see that I can hear him, but I can also hear a lot of stuff in the background. There's some crackling of, you know, the paper and, and the clothing, and there's wind in the background. This is a really windy day uh, for when this wedding took place. I'm going to come over to my mixer, and you can see that in my mixer I have Track FX, and basically um, I just want to make sure that I have that I've matched up the track that I want to use. So I'm I'm applying the effect to track A1, which is in this case the uh, track that has the audio for this clip. And if you hover over these little uh, icons over here in the corner, you can see that you have uh, voice ISO and dial lev LEV or level. And we're just going to focus on voice ISO. So if I were doing this for the first, for the first time. Uh, excuse me, I can't, I can't speak, um, then it would look like this, where it would just be voice ISO. And so you click on it right here to enable it, this little, it's like a very small dot. Click on that dot to enable it, and then you can click on the little settings cog right next to the dot to pull up the settings for the voice isolation. And you can see here you have an amount slider, and it shows you your output. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play. It has been blessing me ever since with that. And then I'm going to enable voice isolation right here. I'm going to press play again. I vow to always put God first above all else. Because I know he will lead me and guide me to be a better husband and a leader. You can go ahead and disable it. Into the future. I vow to always be open and honest and always be an advocate for you and your aspirations. I vow to always love you unconditionally. Okay, so there it is. And it really is that simple. You just go to the track that you want to apply the effect to, click on voice ISO or isolation, enable it, click on the settings cog, pull this up, make sure it's enabled, and then you can choose an amount. Let's say I'm also delivering like raw events to the bride um, so that she can just watch this by herself, you know, without audio or anything, just completely uncut. In that case, I would want to maybe just make it so that their voices were very clear, but I wouldn't want it to make it sound like it was recorded in a studio per se, because that would be uncanny for lack of a better term. So you can actually adjust the amount. So I'll press play. And, sickness and, health. and what I'm going to do is I want to add just a little bit of the ambient sound back into the clip uh, just to make it feel a bit more natural. So I actually move this down to about 60, no, 61, I guess, or actually just for the memes, let's do 69. Very nice. And now I'm going to press play. I've got to always support you and provide and you. Now, Provide for you and our family financially with a loving and caring heart. You can slightly hear the wind in the background. You even heard there that there's kind of that the crinkle of the paper. We provide you. Provide. About always support you. See right there, you can hear kind of the crinkle of the paper. And for just watching it back by itself, that would actually be beneficial to just have it feel a bit more natural, right? It wouldn't be kind of the uncanny valley, like, oh, that's weird that you can only hear the voices and nothing else, right? But you can see if I turn it back up to maximum. About always support you and provide you. It basically completely cuts out the paper crinkles and everything in the background, which I would want for audio overlay, but maybe not so much for like raw events delivered. So there you have it. It's really that easy. So thank you again so much for watching. Uh, I know I say this often, but I've been away for a while. I was filming a wedding in Utah and I've been busy backed up on a wedding. So I haven't been able to upload too many videos, but I'm back in the business now and I'm excited to get back into helping you guys learn DaVinci Resolve just a little bit better. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.